Hey friends, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. I am very, very excited because I have a new release by Barberry. They released their ultimate glow foundation. So I'm going to be doing a demo application of this foundation and a wear test for the whole day. So if you're excited and this is your first time here, I'm Gigi. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Here in my channel, we do a lot of unboxing of luxury makeup products, first impressions, of course, in the reviews and foundations wear tests. So if you like that kind of content, make sure to go ahead and click on the red button that subscribe and also come to my Instagram because over there I keep you posted on new makeup sales and makeup releases everything like that so let's just go ahead and get started alrighty friends so let's begin today we're going to be talking all about their ultimate glow foundation it is a luminous youth infusing serum foundation so this is by Barberry and I don't know where Sarah one of you guys actually messaged me over on Instagram this beautiful foundation and hello I need needed to have it right away. Uh, she's also Canadian, so that's how she found it at the Hudson Bay. Uh, it seems like Hudson Bay is just releasing Barberry products earlier than in the States. You guys are still waiting for this palette in the States. It already released in the UK, and the link is gonna be below. If you're in the UK, this is their spring palette, and it is just beautiful. It is what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now, just something super, super simple and beautiful beautiful um but yeah this palette hasn't launched in the u.s but it's already like pending on their site as soon as it becomes available i'm gonna link it below and on my full in the review on this palette and swatches which i'm gonna actually just put up there in the cards but um i think they're revamping their brand their packaging used to look like this like these dark um, kind of packaging and now everything is looking gold and pretty so look at this foundation bottle and their new eye palette so this foundation promises to be luxurious a serum foundation it is the perfect blend of skincare and makeup for the multi-dimensional youthful glow day or night it is formulated with powerful blends of active skincare ingredients including hyaluronic acid viola extract this youth infusing formula plums and smooth your skin with its eight hour hydration property for a visibly youthful complexion and ultimate radiance. This new premium formula contains antioxidant rich white tea extracts that is going to help to protect your skin from environmental damage and is enriched with light reflecting pearls to create a light from within finish. The skincare serum like texture is lightweight, smooth on the skin and unifies the complexion while giving a second skill a skin feel. The Ultimate Glow Foundation is available in 12 luminous shades and it is dermatologically tested and is formulated without parabens and D5s. In here you get your standard one fluid ounce and it is made in Italy. These retails for 62 Canadian dollars and as I mentioned I bought it at the Hudson Bay. Barberry currently has has a glowy foundation and I've heard really nice things about that one I believe that one has up to 30 shades or so so it is a more you know the, the range is much better than this one this one only has 12 shades um, I was able to find my shade online I just guessed it 60 medium warm which I don't know by their swatches I figure it out and I think i I did pretty good. This is a really spot on match. So I'm gonna show you how the foundation applies. I went ahead and applied to the right side of my face. I did one pump and you can see that the foundation is a little bit liquidy. It's going down my finger, but not extremely liquidy. Um, upon application you can see that it has a really nice light to medium coverage but it could be built up to medium a full medium uh, coverage foundation you can see that glow that they're talking about and i went ahead and did the left side of my face i used another full pump and i just did half of my face i think that the coverage is really nice i really love my medium coverage foundations i feel like this was very easy to spread out i love the coverage it really looked like skin it gave me a little bit of glow but nothing too stream like it wasn't super glowy but these claims to have hyaluronic acid and some other uh, serum like hydrating ingredients that are gonna keep me hydrated throughout the day right now I'm looking pretty much you know modified because I did set my base with this Kosas powder 
I apply this one because it is going to set all over your face, but it's not gonna take away a lot of the shine from the foundation. So I went ahead and set with this one. For primer, I went ahead and used my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, but I only used it at top, uh, you know, like right here on my T-zone and a little bit on here. I didn't apply anything on my chin because this tends to dry out my chin uh, more. I am going to be wearing a mask on and off, so we're gonna see how this foundation holds up. I think that the match is really nice. I was able to get a nice medium coverage application. I do wanna show you quickly a demo of me applying their highlighter. This isn't anything new, but I purchased it and I wanted to show you uh, what it looks like. All right, friends, so I have a full face of makeup now and I did wanted to come back to show you the highlighter that I purchased. It's not new, they have four shades, but I, I was always eyeing at these highlighters and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a go because it's just stunning. But um, this is the base. It looks really, really nice. Very like blurred out, but it looks really natural. I did set it as I mentioned. So this is what it looks like. Again, this is in the shade Rose Gold and this is just a beautiful compact. Let me show you, look at that right up my alley. I love my golden rose hole highlighters. So I really wanted to show you the base without the highlighter. I applied to the Marc Jacobs palette. So I have sort of like a matte bronzer and a matte blush from the palette in a fantastic glow. Um, and yeah, let's apply this highlighter. I don't even want to touch it. It's so perfect. Let me do a swatch. So yeah, it is a beautiful, it looks like a little bit like Charlotte's highlighter, but just a different kind of formula. So I am going to apply with this Sonia G Designer Pro. It is a buildable highlighter. I feel like this is one of those that if you wet um, your brush, you're gonna get um, you know that metallic finish. But this is very pretty, very soft and beautiful. It melted onto my complexion and I really, really like it. In case you were extremely curious, the bottom one is Charlotte's and the top one is Barberry. So I think Charlotte's is way just pinker than Barberry, which leans a little bit more golden, but extremely similar. You can really tell that Barberry is more blinding than Charlotte's. Charlotte's is a little bit of, you know, your natural highlighter, but beautiful, very similar. If you have Charlotte's, I don't think you need this one, uh, but nonetheless, this is tiny. So as you see, very pretty, um, you know, really, really on the natural side. I had to like build up this application. This was like three or four passes of the um, highlighter. I think that the brush that you use is gonna depend on the application. Usually with the Designer Pro by Sonia, I get a light application of product. If I want it to be more intense, I will use something like this, like the Strobing Fan by Sigma. And and um, I will just go directly like that. And that really, you can see, that really makes my highlighter pop. I didn't want to be super highlighty today, but oh well. This is beautiful, beautiful nonetheless. Very happy that I was able to, you know, um, try their formula because these are very, very popular within Barbary's range. I do love the gold packaging much more, but I do feel like their packaging is just stunning. They are out of this world. Very beautiful, beautiful and stunning packaging by Barbary. I love how slick this foundation looks with the gold top. You get the standard one fluid ounce 
goes in here and I feel like this is a really good price it's not extremely luxury prices like Tom Ford foundations are over a hundred dollars at this is 67 Canadian so I think that this is a very good uh, you know for their line even this palette I found that it was very affordable for being a luxury makeup product and for having this many shades this good I think that's a very amazing I think they're revamping their brand their lipsticks also look uh, golden now so that's really cool um, this highlighter was pricey you guys and this was more pricey than the foundation I believe this was 78 Canadian so I feel like this was a really good price for this foundation if this foundation reacts and looks beautiful throughout the day this is gonna be a winner on my book as I mentioned it looks very pretty it looks very nice I am very excited and hopeful to see how this looks so I am going to get going I'm gonna to see you guys in my final check-in bye hey friends and i'm back and it is at 5 5 in the afternoon so i had this foundation on for a total of eight hours and i am so tired i am ready to just take off my makeup this is around the time that i like to do my uh you know my wrap-up videos at this point I know if I like a foundation or not if you see me doing a two or a few day wear test it's because there was something wrong with the foundation that didn't really agree um, you know to my complexion or whatnot but that's not the case today you guys I am loving I am loving this foundation I am gonna bring you close so that we can see everything Okay, friends, so as mentioned, my mask was on and off all day. These days, foundations just don't last, you guys, and that's the reality, especially if you're taking on and off your mask, um, and that was me all day. This foundation did transfer, but not a whole lot. I felt like it transferred really good to my mask. I had, you can see that wear right there on my nose, and then, of course, my chin is worn off, but it doesn't look weird or just cracky or dry anything at all not even on my chin area which i have a ton of issues with foundations i feel like this looks really good i feel like my oils were able to come through the day and look really nice i feel like my look at that highlight still put um you know it looks decent for eight hours of wear same for my bronzer i feel like my blush really disappeared but i really like this foundation i'm looking extra tired because my mascara just fell me today and it really transferred to my under eyes but other than that you guys i feel like this looks really good i feel like this is a really nice foundation this is totally worth looking into if you like that natural finish if you like that natural glow um this is a serum a hydrating serum foundation you know hybrid and i really like it i like that it is hydrating i don't feel like it emphasizes my smile lines it is settled a little bit but not too much you guys and foundation usually really sets in there um i think it looks really good again it really looks just worn out but just naturally um it looks very even everywhere else i like that um you know my t-zone looks a little bit oily but not extremely oily i feel like it really it looks really really nice you guys foundations as i said foundations these days i don't really last on me and this one is really surprising me i do really love it you guys i really really like this foundation i like how it wore throughout the day i feel like i never looked really makeupy. it just looked really nice and pretty and very put together i love that my highlighter is still there so this is going strong and i love my eyeshadow it was so soft and very long wear as well so i think this whole um barberry trio was a winner for me as soon as this foundation launches in the states i'm going to make sure to link it same for uk uh friends i'm gonna make sure to link them if you wanted to look at it i do feel like 12 shades is a little bit iffy um 
Within their range, they do have their neutral tones and they do have their warm tones. I do agree this is totally warm. Um, I did, um, you know, swatch that yesterday before I applied it. And I got one from my friend and hers is totally neutral. You can see through the bottle. I'll post a picture right there. I didn't swatch hers. Of course, I don't want to touch it. Um, but I'm going to show you what it looks like on the bottle. You can totally see 50 neutral looks very neutral. So... If you pick up warm, it's gonna be really warm. If you pick up neutral, it's gonna be, you know, within the neutral range. Really like it. I give this foundation two thumbs up. Really nice job from Barberry. I love that they're coming back. They're making a comeback with their beauty. I cannot wait to see more. I wanna try the lipsticks. Um, a lot of you have said many grace about the brand when I review the palette. Again, if you missed this review, make sure to go and watch it. I'll link it below. It's coming to the US very soon um, because it says already in the website it's coming soon. So I'll keep post it when I do on my Instagram and also on my um, community tab. But that's it you guys. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this foundation. Do you like the finish? Do you like how it wore? Anything that comes to mind? Are you thinking about picking any of these products up? Drop me a comment. Thanks so much. Love you. I'm gonna catch you next time. Bye.